Hey, what is up, YouTube? This is Jacob Yepes. I'm coming at you today with the full sale video. Today, we're going to talk about my experience in the application process and how it all kind of started. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to leave a, a comment down below. And if you really like the information you're getting, leave a like, subscribe for more weekly videos on Full Sail and my journey. And let's go. So where do you, where do you start? Pick, pick what you want to study. Uh, I'm going to go for digital cinematography. If you kind of don't know what you want to study, there's a bunch of videos out there on a different uh, degree plans and you know what they can do. Uh, it is an accelerated program. Just be mindful of that. So it sounds like there's going to be a lot of coursework crammed in really fast. From what I gather, you you take a class a month and that that's it. Um, I personally am really looking forward to that. It sounds like it's a great idea. Um, however, if you aren't great with time management and you're thinking about doing this online, I would maybe reconsider your mental readiness uh, to do that. I am going to be uh, taking the online degree plan for this. Um, there is, you know, an on-campus version and an online version. However, right now, due to COVID-19 restrictions, I believe their campus is closed um, until, you know, everything clears up. So if, you know, you're trying to go on campus, you might have to wait a little bit. Um, but other than that, it's, it's really good. So step one, figure out what you want to study. Two, give them a call. You know, I, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, so I called them and, you know, I spoke to, you know, the representatives there and, and they really, really, you know, took their time to kind of explain everything to me. I, I think I was on the phone for an hour and a half. Uh, we just had a conversation and they, they really wanted to make sure it was something you wanted to do before they, you know, basically took your money because it is expensive. It's an expensive school, but I... I feel like it's going to be worth it um, for what you're getting, the the rapidness, the education. It, it it seems like it's going to pay off in the end. So give them a call, talk to them, and you know I'm sure from that point forward you'll you'll be you know squared away and good to go. So so after you talk to them, you're going to want to fill out your application. I did mine on the phone with them. Uh, he filled everything out for me. Um, I verified some information for him. He submitted my application and it was done. After that, you know, I waited a few a few days, I think. Um, I think I spoke to him on Friday. And by that Monday, the ball was already rolling. Um, so, you know, if, if you're trying to really go, they can make it happen really fast. I called them a week ago and I'm already registered to start classes in two weeks. So that's a three week turnaround period, which is, which is great. Um, so if you're ready to go, I would call them, fill out that application and then start doing what they call your to do's. So at this point, it's kind of like a student portal where you have to submit all your documentation and that's FAFSA, your transcripts, some information about yourself, your tax information. And I would start preparing to have all that ready now or when you're getting ready to do that application and start pursuing further education is make sure you have your tax information for, you know, the year that you're going to need it for. So right now it's 2020. I needed my 2018 tax um, information. And then do your FAFSA. The sooner you do your FAFSA, the, the better it is for you. So do your FAFSA, get that worked out. Make sure you're, you're ready with that. If you are in the military and you are planning to use tuition assistance or your GI Bill, um, that is also very simple to do, very easy, but you will have to be transferred over to one of their military representatives. I'll do another video on that a little bit later, but it's only a little extra step. I encourage you to go talk to your Ed Center. I'm active duty Marine Corps and you know we have uh, an Ed Center here on base and I would be thoroughly shocked if you didn't have one um, wherever you're stationed. So I would just look for your education center, talk to a representative there, and they'll help you get situated the best they can. So today I finished the last process of the registration process. It included student orientation. So once you complete all the tasks in the to-do list, you then are prompted to do your student orientation. This took me about an hour to an hour and a half. Um, it is pretty lengthy and there is a test involved. However, 
it's it's not a difficult test but the orientation itself basically it explains to you how things are going to work some of it was useful information some of it was common knowledge but all in all it, it was great information i highly recommend you actually sit through them read the knowledge and really process it because you never know when you're going to need it. But the orientation basically had 20 something chapters, uh, sections, and none of them had any kind of tests until closer to the end. And once you reach that point, it's an accumulative test on everything that you just went over. So part of it was how do you submit assignments? How do you, you know, go about reaching your professors if you need them? I would be mindful and not just just click uh, complete at the end of all of them and just kind of skim through them on a few of them you do have to submit documents basically showing you how you would submit your assignment to your professor read what you have to do um, you have to name your files a certain way and it's it's just asking you to type in your name the date and like a sentence and you save the file in a certain way and I think it's just teaching you kind of the format that they would want you to submit and um, that's that's basically it. The orientation is really easy. And, you know, moving forward, I plan on sharing these videos with you. If you're interested in going to full sale, um, you can follow me on my journey. I'll post these as they come along. But right now I'm on, you know, month zero, I guess, so to speak right now. And, you know, once I start my first week of classes, I'll hop back on and let you guys know how it's going and kind of what the process has been like. But I, like I said, I am active duty right now. I'll be attending full sale in October. I start in about nine nine days and you know I'll let you guys know how it goes and if you guys have any questions um, or you want me to you know touch on something don't hesitate to leave it in the comments I'll be sure to let you know how it's going but I'll try to do my best to get you guys the most up-to-date information in 2020 giving you guys my week-to-week -week kind of schedule and feel of things and how it goes and how it progresses so if you are curious and you want to kind of see what it's like before you make the commitment by all means jump on board and we can go through this journey together and you know i look forward to starting this next chapter of my life and you know trying to pursue this this passion of you know cinematography and i'll try to do my best to give you guys the most up-to-date information uh, as i go on here in 2020 going into 2021 and if you guys have any questions comments um, please leave them down below and i'll be happy to touch on them if you have any military questions via how do i start using my gi bill you know if i'm in how how do I use tuition assistance? Feel free to ask. I'll do my best to answer them. But if you have any other questions in regards to, you know, what the registration process is like, how long did it take, what financial aid was like, and how much does it roughly cost, uh, leave that down below and, you know, I'll answer that as soon as I can. But it was nice talking to you guys. I'll see you in the next one.